it's uh, Dennis here from Save Slot uh, making another Kerbal video and today I'm gonna be launching a space station <laughs> yeah no oh, what are you doing it's not the time to pizza and fries why are you hot dogging I don't know ski bum terminology stuff anyway as you can see I'm launching a pretty massive space station but uh, weird weird design it's not too easy to steer. Kirby! Well, if you turn down your goddamn music, maybe we wouldn't crash. Yeah. Anyway, as you can see, uh, it's a kind of a weird design with no middle. Hey, what the foot? Bugger. Ah! Yeah, th th not again. Yeah, so there's no middle section, and uh, I was having a little trouble getting the thrust uh, right, so I had to try a different. Uh, different engines and different uh, weight ratios until I finally figured out uh, one that managed to just get us into space. And very similar uh, very similar to the, the Discovery thing that I launched in my last videos, um, literally used about every ounce of fuel uh, just to get it into orbit. So, it, you know, it's like, whoa. But, uh, you know, this, isn't, this wasn't really intended to go anywhere. Uh, it was just kind of supposed to be like that recreational you know, space facility and stuff. And there it is, in all of its glory. The Pleasurecraft V. The first nuclear-powered recreational space facility. And look at all those lights. You can't miss this little thing. And really, it is quite bright. You know, sometimes this game is really, really dark, but uh, I guess with that many lights, you can't go wrong. So as you can see, we have a little dance floor there for Kerbals who want to party down. Um, next door we have a little cinema uh, for them to watch movies. And a little cafe where they can munch on biscottis. And a science lab where all the space science will commence. And God knows there will be space science. Um, you might find that odd to be on a recreational facility, but um, Kerbals actually consider science to be a recreational sport. So, not a big deal. Anyway, uh, facility is powered by these two um, giant nuclear reactors, um, which is part of the, the Deep Space uh, mission pack. But um, really could have just done with one, but for symmetry's sake, I put them both on there. And uh, aside from that top section, there's also a lower aft section. Yeah, there's the docking port. Um, and on that at lower aft section, that's where all the little crew habitats are. So, you know, if they want to go down there and take a nap, it's all nice and tidy on the bottom level you can see the little railings there fortunately with no gravity in space um, you know you're pretty much just RCSing and most of the time just worried the fuck about falling off the space station which happens a lot anyway I'm gonna send some fuel up what ah <clears throat> I mean uh, yeah that was, that was supposed to happen sure hmm anyway um, ugh. another weird see this rocket for some I don't know how this got to space with all these booster issues but but look at this separation this is like just beautiful just the best separation ever yeah once when rockets break up no tears are shed um, so yeah the one thing I learned about space docking that pretty much is the most important thing is alignment um, you want to make sure everything's all lined up before you really start messing around um, so in this case, obviously, the cockpit of the space station is facing up, and the docking port's perpendicular, so I've aligned it to a uh, equatorial axis, and then this guy who's closing in is going to be more of a polar, polar dude. Yeah. So, you can see it moving in here, and it looks pretty, pretty smooth, considering some of the other docking mishaps I've had. That's the thing, I watched a lot of um, videos, um, particularly Scott Manley um, is a pretty good one, and Robaz, uh, the Swede. Um, Robaz is funny, and Scott Manley is more like a fucking Einsteinian engineer dude. But, uh, you know, aside from that, what I noticed is so many people are so freaking good at this game. Like, I've seen people, I've seen Robaz, like, dock without the targeting system. I don't know how people do it. Um, but then, I don't know. It, I, when I first started this game, getting into orbit was a challenge. Now, look at this docking space stations. So yeah, I'm going to transfer over all the resources here, and uh, you know, really, I guess, I don't know. It, if I ever want to mute the space station, it'll be nice to have the fuel up there. 
but uh, also brought over a crew member and uh, now we have Billy Bob in there doing some uh, doing some science. Yeah, probably engineering a virus or something. So now it's time to deorbit this uh, fuel vessel, and uh, I've sort of transferred all the fuel. So like I've had to do in the past, I just basically deorbit it using only RCS, uh, which you know I guess works out from an efficiency standpoint. Yeah, here we are, coming back, coming back to the atmosphere. Look at all those parachutes. I think I might have overdone it on the parachutes for this particular craft. I mean, you kind of look at the, the wires out there and it's kind of like a tangled mess. I mean, thank, thank Christ this game doesn't have tangled elements involved, otherwise it would break. This game's too hard already. I need to have all that other... Yeah. What the heck happened? Oh. Eh, whatever. It made it. You know, that, that's, the th that's the thing. You know that the game is hard when it's like, you know, oh, thank God I landed. Ship may be broken to several pieces, but uh, I'm alive. Terra firma beneath my feet. Never thought I'd see this planet again. And he's clearly excited to be here. Anyway. So now I want to crew up that space station. So here's a cool little truck I built inside of the um, space plane hangar. And really the purpose is just to ferry Kerbals over to the rocket. Um, so I'm going to get uh, Billy Bob here loaded up. Um, unfortunately this is where I discovered one of the first of many design flaws. The ladder was just not long enough. So, back to the drawing board. I'm going to have to come up with some sort of stepladder vehicle. And uh, this one looks kind of cool. Little proby. Hmm. Something's telling me I may want to try something a little bit smaller. Like this. Yay. Look at this cute little guy. It's my little stepladder. It worked, so here we are, Billy Bob, mounting the rocket. And this is quite a long climb. Normally, I don't do crewing like this on the ground. I pretty much just, you know, I'd prefer to like launch it into space and then do all the stuff by EVA or docking or whatever. But um, I don't know. I thought it'd be fun to try the whole, you know, bring a bunch of crewables to the landing pad. And the flight for this one went pretty smooth. Unfortunately, I forgot about alignment, and as you can see from the docking, uh, that's not going to work. So I just have my guys come over on EVA. Thankfully, this wasn't really a fuel transfer mission anyway. I just wanted to get some people over here and get this part started. So Billy Bob's probably going to go see, um, maybe check out a movie. I don't know what's the planet they're driving. Maybe Plan 9 from Outer Space. That'd be an appropriate movie. Watch a little Ed Wood into space. I actually wonder if um, any astronauts have actually watched like a movie in space. Hmm. Actually, uh, so, so yeah, now i got a quick little party going on. Lots of lots of Kerbals just hanging out there. And uh, a little Gomez here is gonna gonna dance for us. Gonna try it. some sweet little dancey moves. And, yeah. And you've Try dancing on the dance floor there, Kirfy. And Mimo and Billy Bob starts his movie. So, don't look like it's that enjoyable. Mimo, Kirfy, and Francois enjoy biscotti in a good philosophical debate. Well, Kirfy does science. The space science. And doesn't look like that entertaining of a movie, to be honest. Just based on the reaction of his face. I wonder what is the algorithm that makes Kerbals happy? Because you see them go through all sorts of a range of emotions, and uh, you never really know. I, I guess I don't know. It's just sometimes I've seen them happy as shit when the stuff is going sour. But uh, happy Kerbals get Kerbal. Anyway, after all that dancing, it's time to go for a nap. So I'm just gonna go downstairs a little crew section, nestle into my space bed. So yeah, man, this has been, like, awesome. All these Kerbals up there doing this pleasure craft. Uh, who's, 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 uh, who's steering? Billy? Billy? Griffey? Gershwin? Um, guys, you do know, um, all right. Well, I guess there's, that's it for that space station. And the frame rate. Boom! Ah! Billy Bob! You're alive! What the? 
Fly away, fly away, fly away, more, more. Little Kerbal, flying in the sky. Eh, you're pretty much doomed, buddy. That's okay, that's okay. It's still 2.0, so death doesn't really mean anything yet. That's it. Um, like the video if you want. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll definitely be posting more Kerbal videos because I got nothing better to do. But, uh, bye for now. Uh, elephant. <laughs>